we're going to uh, go ahead and get started here. So everyone that uh, maybe that out in the hall and can hear me can come in and sit down. All right. Welcome to uh, Ion Santiago as part of uh, the LACNIC and LACNOG agenda this week. Um, I'm uh, Chris Grundeman, and I'm part of the Deployment and Operationalization team at the Internet Society. Uh, and the Ion conference series is part of what we do as part of our Deploy360 project. Um, before we get into that, I'd like to back up a little bit and talk a little bit about what the Internet Society is. Um, our mission, as you can see here, is to promote the open development, evolution, and use of the Internet for the benefit of all people throughout the world. Um, we, we were established um, and set up in kind of three main focus areas. So we, we, we kind of work on the intersection of technology, development, and, and policy. So obviously policy working with regulators and policymakers around the world. Um, development is a lot of uh, mainly uh, human capacity development, meaning training, and also infrastructure development. And then technology working on um, promoting technologies as well as helping to develop and, and guide the development of technologies. We were actually founded in 1992 uh, as the secretariat for the IETF and, uh, and then grew beyond there over the, over the last, uh, was it four, uh, 22 years? Um, to what uh, we see now, which is a much larger organization um, with a global presence. We have over 65,000 members in over 100 chapters worldwide, uh, 145, more than 145 organizational members, six regional bureaus to uh, keep track of, of everything that's going on all around the world. And, uh, offices in, in 18 different countries. So from, from humble, humble beginnings to, uh, to quite a large organization that's working on behalf of the internet, and again, the open evolution and growth of the internet going forward. Within that, um, on the technology side, there's the deployments and operationalization team. And we're really focused on, on oper op operator outreach. Uh, you can see here, it's myself, Dan York, Megan Cruz, and uh, Jan Zors is the team. Um, so you'll see us around. We're, we're, three of us are here, Megan, Jan, and myself are here this week. And uh, we often travel around, so if you have any questions about anything, feel free to grab one of us. We're currently working on three projects within our team. The Deploy360 program, um, we're working on facilitating best current operational practices around the world, and then also working on a project we're calling Operators in the IETF, which is geared towards bringing more operational input back into the IETF. Um, the Deploy360 program is our flagship project, and it's really work focused on bridging the gap between IETF standards and uh, operational reality. So RFCs from the IETF are written, obviously, for protocols like IPv6, DNSSEC, TLS, and the list goes on. Um, but they're written really about how the protocol works, how to develop software and hardware to make those things work, and not necessarily how to deploy it on a real network. So Deploy360 goal is to work with folks who have deployed these technologies, the first adopters, uh, capture their case studies and that information, and then pass it on to the fast followers and, and everyone here who can benefit from their knowledge. Within Deploy360, there's four components. Uh, the web portal is kind of the heart and soul, where all of the resources are available and where we communicate with everyone. We also are on social media to increase that communication and, and kind of have a feedback loop so we can hear from all of you. Uh, speaking engagements, where we go out and speak at conferences all around the world, as well as what we're doing here today, the ION conferences, which is our own conference series, where we bring in others to come speak on the topics that we're focused on. Uh, the web portal here, the address is there. It's internetsociety.org slash deploy360. Um, and again, we're, we're right now we're focused on basically promoting technologies that are good for the internet, um, but that maybe some people are, are, are slow to adopt or have reasons you know, to, to drag their feet and don't want to spend the money to adopt them. And so we really try to make it as easy as possible. So we provide content on IPv6, DNSSEC, uh, TLS for applications, securing BGP, and anti-spoofing. And then the content on the website is broken up into audiences, so hopefully you can go there um, and find content specific to you across all of those technologies, whether you're a network operator, a developer, um, running an enterprise network or an IXP, um, an enterprise customer, consumer electronics manufacturer, um, or even a regulator, right? There's, there's, there's audience um, wizards and maps on the, on the website, so you can find content that's relevant specifically to you and, and, and your case. We also have a blog post and then, of course, social media integration. Um, we try to be everywhere we can on social media in order to provide that feedback loop, right? Because uh, really what we're trying to do is provide the resources that you need to deploy these technologies, and so we want to hear what those are from you and, and whether we're doing a good job or not. Um, so please feel free to contact us uh, or, or follow us on, on any of these social media channels. 
Um, and again, as I said, we, we're trying to take this uh, out into the world by speaking at as many engagements as we can. This is a small sample of some of the places we've spoken at. Um, and then really, what we really want to try to do when we get in front of people is these ION conferences. We're doing three or four a year. They're always about a half day, co-located with other events, just like uh, this week. Um, the recent ones are Belfast, Djibouti, and Toronto. Uh, we try to move around the world and also into different audiences. We try to pair with different conferences so we get in front of different audiences. And again, we're really here to, to make you aware of the Deploy360 resources, as well as putting experts in the room today who have deployed these technologies. Um, so hopefully you can learn from them and, and meet them and, and move forward from there. We're always working on adding more content, um, features based on your feedback. Um, we're currently working on translating a lot of the content into other languages, and, uh, and then always just overall just more and more activity on uh, the blog and, and in social media. So we'd love to invite you to come explore the website, um, as well as creating content. Again, the, um, if you have deployed any of these technologies, whether it's IPv6, DNSSEC, TLS, um, securing your BGP or, or, or anti-spoofing, we'd love to hear from you. Um, and, and, and publish and, and promote what you've done. We'd also like to hear what you need. So if you have features or, or functionality that, that you'd like to see us provide, or if there's tools that would make your life easier in, promote, in uh, deploying these technologies, we'd love to hear from you. So please contact us. It's uh, deploy360 at isoc.org. Um, today's agenda is, uh, is here on the screen. We're going to walk through um, what's happening at the IETF, uh, looking at internet standards and how to get involved. Then we're going to talk a little bit about operators in the IETF, which is a project I mentioned that, uh, that our team at Internet Society is working on. Then we're going to look at how IPv6 deployment has, has gone in the last two years since uh, deploy, uh, World IPv6 launch. We're going to look at best current operational practices, which is, again is another project we're working on. And then after the break, we'll come back and look at securing BGP, anti-spoofing, and really just all about writing around catastrophe and how to make the Internet more resilient and robust. And then looking at TLS and what, that, what role that plays with network operators, how that may impact you or your customers. Um, Dane and the future of, of TLS, kind of taking it to the next level of, of you know, how those two play together and, and uh, where DNSSEC plays into all that. And then, of course, we'll, we'll wrap up and, and get you all out of here. So with that, um, I want to invite our first speaker, um, Alvaro Rotana, up to come talk about what's happening at the IETF.